So, um, recently I managed to get for very low discount the entire Frankencastle storyline, and I was reading it. And you know what? I wasn't going to do a review first, of it, like for uh, for it because it's such an older book. But the thing of it is, is that what's been going on with um, Punisher now and uh, people saying, quote unquote, this isn't the Punisher or whatever. I decided to, this seemed kind of relevant to talk about. Like, this seemed like a bit of a relevant book. Because before we get into the actual book, let me talk about something from my past. And you'll never find it on this because I deleted this video a long time ago. Because I realized how cringe it was. Basically, I was very upset when they announced that Punisher was going to be killed and then brought back as, a, as like this weird zombie thing. I was like, that's stupid. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I did a video, like a tribute to Frank using like Bad Company by Five Finger Death Punch. Some of you who have been on this channel as long as you have might remember that. And like, I was like, ugh, that's some, that's some cringe shit. But that's all gone now. And I was very, like, kind of against this idea because it was so weird and so out there and and just, it felt dumb. But here's the thing, I never read the book. And then I read the story not too long ago and I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. And having read the entirety of the saga, I can honestly tell you, fucking younger me was dumb as fuck. That younger me was, was a fucking idiot. This is so much fun. This comic is so much fun, and it kind of proves the point of characters go back to status quo after a while. Like, that's the thing, is that Punisher has been through some weird shit, and him lost on Weird, weird World after being possessed by the Beast and used as the leader of the Hand, um, it's nothing new. In fact, that's pretty tame, because... Punisher has been through... This is just one of... That's just one of the many things that Punisher has been drastically altered. Like, from hunting demons and for, for God and, um... Like this. There's... The, here's the thing, is that they... some And I've talked about this before at Nauseam, where Marvel does this thing ever so often where Punisher gets an upgrade... Like, Punisher gets changed... And they do it for a while, and they go right back. Not because it's like, oh, fan outcry was so bad. It was more like, well, that was fun. Let's go. Let's do something else. Because the fact of the matter is, Punisher is just a guy with a gun, and not. And you could say, well, Batman's just a guy. And he doesn't have guns. He's just a, no. Batman's a billionaire, and has decades of train of uh, martial arts training, and billions of dollars to spend. Whereas here, Frank is just a guy who has mil uh, who is a sold who was a soldier and carries around a lot of guns living in a world of actual gods who have who've taken on a lot worse so ever so often marvel does that thing of let's make the punisher let's make people talk about the punisher um but yeah so let's talk a bit about um the let's talk about this so if you don't know what this is, this happened during Dark Reign. Now, if you guys don't know what Dark Reign was, Dark Reign was actually, I think, a low-key, one of my favorite events, because it was basically where Norman Osborn and a cabal of villains, after the events of Secret Invasion, basically took over the government for a while, and villains ran the country for a, for a hot minute. And among those, Frank Castle was on a list of people that um, Norman Osborn considered, like, high-end threats that he needed to take out. And he sent Wolverine's son, Dokken, to kill him. Now, here's where things get interesting, because after, and you think of all people, Dawkins the one to kill Wol uh, um, kill Punisher, right? And even I was like, really, of all the people, Dawkins, uh, uh, like Dawkins, the guy I, uh, uh, whatever I say his name, I think of the band, uh, the metal ba the hair metal band, him, and they do admit that's even, even in this comic, they say that's really fucking stupid. Um, which I think kind of adds to the joke, because that's really what it feels like here. This comic is just one giant joke, because what happens is Morbius and the Legion of Monsters resurrect Frank and make him into a Frankenstein monster. Get it? Franken Castle? And it's so clever. I'm convinced Rick Remender, the writer of this entire comic, was like, Frank Castle. Franken Castle. Oh my god, I know what I'm going to do with the Punisher. <laughs> I'm convinced that's what happened. 
But yeah, so Frank gets turned into a big Frankenstein monster, Frankencastle, and ends up battling this guy named Robert Helgard, who's a giant steampunk monster hunter with an army of samurai monster hunters from Japan who worship him and call him the captain of science, and they're out to destroy all monsters. And they want to get the bloodstone to do it. You confused yet? Good, because this comic doesn't give a fuck if you are. Um, this comic is just like, shut up and enjoy the fun. Like, that's really what this is going for, is, sh you know, shut your damn mouth and, and just enjoy the ride. And that's really what it is. And the thing of it is, is that Frank's still Frank. That's the thing. It's not like they, ma like, they made Frank into a giant Frankenstein monster, like a big patchwork steampunk monster, that would honestly look... Re I'm surprised Mike Mignola didn't do any covers for this. I'm actually genuinely... Because I would have loved to have seen this, this Punisher right here in the art style of, of Mike Mignola. We do get some cool, like, um, hollow... I don't know the artist's name, I forget it, but he's done, like, Count Crowley and other, other independent books of this really cool, um, painted, like, retro... Like, something you'd see, like, Rob Zombie kind of artwork, you know? But, yeah. So, it's... It's ridiculous. That's the thing, is that it's utterly, completely stupid, and it doesn't ask you to be like, "I need you to have, uh, I need you to think this is realistic." No, it's more like, check your uh, check your realism at the door and just read something fun. And it's like I said, it's still Frank. It's not like Frank, um, his personality has changed. He's more like, okay, so I'm a big hulking thing. All right, do I get to? Am I still gonna shoot people? Yeah. And, I gotta be honest, the action is really good, especially the fight between him and Dokken, the revenge fight, where he goes to um, Japan to get his revenge on Dokken, and Wolverine gets caught in the middle of it. It's completely stupid, and then it goes right back to status quo when the when the ride's over. And that's how this is gonna play out. That's I know a lot of people were mad about the Joe Garrison thing, the new Punisher, but here's the thing. He's gonna come back. That's the thing. Frank is going to come back in, like, a year, year and a half tops. That's what, that's all it's going to be. Frank's just going to go on a break. We're getting this new, this new Joe Garrison guy, and I guarantee you, year, year and a half tops, Frank will be back putting bullets in drug dealers and arms dealers and whatever the fuck they decide to do with it. But this was an era of Punisher where, even before that, the Matt Fraction run, before we got to the Rick Remender run... He was using, like, gadgets. He was, like, using, like, a goblin glider and pim particles and, um, like, tools and, gad like, black market gadgets of other Avengers, of, of Marvel superhero and villains. And that's how he fought during Civil War and Secret Invasion. And then, at the beginning of this, there's actually, um, in the first volume of Rick Remender's run, there's actually a decent, like, almost, like, twisted version of Superman Batman fight between him and Sentry, which goes completely off the rails. Um, but yeah, this comic is just like that's the whole point of the Rick Remender run was this comic is meant to be ridiculous and it doesn't care if you don't like it or not. And you know what? This might be one of my favorite Punisher stories, I'm not gonna lie. And this is coming from a guy who, when it was announced, thought it was the dumbest thing and that thought they ruined the Punisher. And if I can change, I'm pretty sure, like, some other opinions... Like, opinions out there of the Jason Aaron miniseries will probably change in, like, five years. Five, like, little on down the road, people will be like... They'll find something else to be mad about, about the Punisher, or something else. That's what I'm trying to get at, is that at some point down the road... We'll, it's like a Roomba, where, like, oh, I'm mad at this. Now, boom, now I'm mad at this. Like, that's what I'm trying to get at, is that Punisher is just gonna be... Punisher is just going to be whatever Marvel wants it to be, and trust me, if it's one thing the major companies Marvel and DC really like, it's status quo. They just like to shake it up to get you talking and get your money's worth. Anyway, so, if you can find this, this is actually a lot of fun. I did, um, it is like $35 if you get it, but I got it for like 17 uh, for 17 at a second in Charles, which I didn't even know were... I didn't even know I were those a thing. So, yeah. All in all, a lot of fun. But you guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of Frankencastle? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time. The Multiverse.